gonna be the Twin Tail is such a stupid show. That's why it's so much fun. But beyond being stupid, it's actually really smart. And the battle between Al Gildy and Tail Red in episode 8 is one of the best examples of this. But before I get into the fight, let me ask you a question. What is your favorite anime? You see, as an alleged skilled anime critic, I spend a lot of time thinking about what makes a show good, what makes it stand out, or just what makes a show bad, and how could bad shows maybe become good. So yeah, I've seen a lot of anime in my time making videos. So you might think my favorite anime would be one of the critically acclaimed ones, like the Cowboy Bebop, or Neon Genesis Evangelion, or maybe like Monogatari if I want something more modern. But no. My favorite anime is, in fact, My Hero Academia. A well-executed, though admittedly cliché, shounen anime. But while it might not be as critically claimed as some of the others, it speaks to my heart in a way like no other. Now, this might seem off-topic, considering this video is about Twin Tails, and not me fanboying about My Hero Academia, though I do need to finish up my videos on Season 4. But you see... This question fits perfectly because the battle between Al Gildy and Tail Red is more of a philosophical battle than actually seeing who is stronger. And more specifically, it is a philosophical battle about literature. For reference, keep in mind that Twin Tail started as a light novel, a work of literature, so the arguments made here could apply just as easily to anime or entertainment as a whole even. Alright, let's get into the fight. At the start of the episode, Al Gildy is reading some poetry and seeing that the words set his soul on fire and make him feel like he traveled back in time to his youth. They make him feel nostalgic. Then he proclaims that what he has read is true literature. This may seem like a weird opening just to introduce this episode's villain and his quirk with literature, but it actually sets the stage very well for the themes that the episode is going to explore. Then later on in the episode, Ernie is going to buy a porn because she cannot find any online. Al Gildy spots her, falls in love because she is reading literature, and then Tail Red attacks him to get him away from Ernie. During his introduction here, Al Gildy reveals that he is fighting to defend the love of literature in the world, which I think is very neat. He's not fighting to take anything from the world or even to defeat Tail Red, but merely to spread and defend the things that he loves. Tailred respects him for this because she is fighting in the same way for Twin Tails. So Al Gildy is here fighting to ensure that his love of literature continues on. But then he laments the state of modern literature, how it is now filled with manga, filled with fan service. Far from true literature. Then Tailred strikes back, breaking free of Al Gildy's attack, declaring that literature is what people like and is what enriches them. Then Tail Red attacks him with lots of fire and explosions because it's cool, and Twin Tails likes having cool explosions. Then Tail Red says something very interesting, that she understands why Al Gildy would like something as great as literature. But for her, it is Twin Tails that unlocked her imagination and showed her who she really was. And not even Al Gildy could refute such passion. Though Al Gildy then lashes out when he heard that the girl that he saw, Ernia, was in fact buying porn. And then he declares that it is not he who is dying today, but literature. So from an action perspective, the battle really isn't that interesting. But what they said in the meaning behind the words says a lot. Al Gildy here represents the snobbish fan of literature or anime, or just entertainment as a whole. You've met them. You know them. They declare that anything that isn't up to their standards as trash, and they have complicated mathematical algorithms to allow them to judge a work objectively. They have seen more anime than you have heard of, hold themselves above the rest of the community. They enjoy digging into the symbolism and themes and exploring the cultural context of the work. They have a great passion for art that truly enriches their mind and gives them a lot to think about or to ponder. They long for the rich experiences that you can only get when intellectually interacting with a critical masterpiece. They aren't completely wrong. It's not bad that they enjoy doing these things. But when they get into this mindset, they run the risk of blinding themselves to the true power of literature, just as Al Gildy has done here. He bashes manga filled with scantily clad women, thinking they are completely trash, but not stopping to ponder the true impact they could have for some people. Remember how the episode opened? It was Al Gildy reading poetry, seeing like it set his soul on fire, it was true literature, all that? 
but between that moment and the battle, he seemed to forget that. Back then, he didn't care whether the poetry was great intellectually or not, but instead that it spoke to his soul. Keep in mind, too, the poetry he was reading wasn't deep. It was about glasses and boobs, the very thing that he claimed was trash during this fight. There might actually be some symbolism with Dark Rasper and glasses, too, but I'll save that for another time. I have said before that some anime speak to the mind, while other anime speak to the heart. Only with anime to speak other places, but we aren't talking about that right now. The shows that speak to the mind have their place, with all their ideals and complexities, and they are wonderful shows, don't get me wrong. But the shows that speak to the heart have a far greater power in spite of, or even because of, their apparent flaws. And it is this low-class literature that has the most power to enrich people's lives. Like, for me personally, it's shows like My Hero Academia or Naruto that have inspired me and pushed me forward as a person. Or even Twin Tails. Especially Twin Tails. That's the thing about this battle that's so cool. It's that Twin Tails is declaring its own value. At first glance, Twin Tails does not appear to have any artistic merit. It's a light novel adaptation filled with weird fetishes, scantily clad girls, and cliche writing. But to write it off that easily would miss what it truly offers. It's an incredibly smart anime, and it is about following your passions. It has inspired me to do things I would not do otherwise. And it doesn't matter what the show is. Some people are inspired to play volleyball by Haikyuu. Others are inspired just to take chances, follow their dreams because of a place further than the universe. And still others are inspired to brighten people's lives because of Fruits Basket. I really believe that every anime fan has a show like this. That is their literature. And so tell me, what is your literature? I'm actually really curious. And let me know what you thought of the video too. I want to dig more into Twin Tales and all that it offers, so expect more videos like this. Plus, it's just fun to talk about the show and to talk with other fans of it. Speaking of, go check out the Twin Tales subreddit if you want to talk to other fans about Twin Tales. It's a kind of small subreddit, actually really small, but it has a passionate community like no other. Plus, there might be some interesting stuff coming out there in the near future. So, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you all next time.